what's up y'all if you're new to my channel i am queen kiosha kiosha if you're back welcome back it's a new video so let's get right into it the first thing i want to talk about is natural now when i talk about natural i'm more so leaning towards like natural hair like mine whether it's short medium length long length it doesn't matter i feel like when we as women are in our natural state that's when you feel the most confident if you can go out whether you're going to the store even going out to any type of event if you feel confident rocking your natural hair natural face natural body you're that girl i promise you there are so many women that don't feel comfortable until they put on makeup you know weave like they have to enhance their beauty to feel beautiful men love a woman that's just natural like naturally beautiful that's what attracts you to men of course you see them liking you know the the instagram models you know with the bbls and you know all that but in real life men love a woman that's natural i know especially when you do a big chop it can be very hard to embrace your naturalness but i'm telling you get comfortable with being natural like start by just wearing natural hair if, if you're not comfortable with wearing your natural hair i would suggest to wear your natural hair but you know put a little makeup on that might make you feel a little bit more confident to wear your natural hair because you're not just bare face with natural hair like right now i have on mascara i line my lips all the time with lip gloss if i don't line my lips i still have on if not lip gloss i put vaseline because that actually helps your lips also just eat like either or if you are comfortable with your natural hair but you're not comfortable going out bare face put on little to to no makeup you look your best when you're like just so natural i see a lot of people are starting to wear their natural hair more often and i love it especially like you know it's for us as colored colored women that's what makes us so unique and so different from other races because of our natural beauty you know of course we can switch up and put on a wig have braids you know we are very versatile but your natural state is where is it next is maintenance that goes into self-care self-love keep up with yourself nails toes hair uh hygiene for sure <laughs> you know what i'm saying we have to take care of ourselves head to toe head to toe is how i um i get dressed most of the time i do my hair first do my makeup then i get dressed and last, I accessorize and put on like my perfume and my lotion. But maintenance is very important. Like my nails, these are my real nails. I've been wearing my real nails for years. Um, Right now, I just have them like the nail hardener on them because that's what's making them grow so long. I haven't put polish on them and it's been months. But if I do, polish my nails majority of the time i go with white next time i go to the nail shop i want to find like a something similar to like bubble bath like a pinkish brownish like a, a real neutral color i love nudes but you know wear your natural nails i know everybody nails are not able to like grow as long and i, I have like real long nail buds so that's really why i wear my natural nails but even if you do acrylic nails, whether you go to the nail shop or you want to do press on nails, you know, keep up with yourself. Toes, same thing, like polish them, whether you do them yourself. I know the nail shop can be expensive, so try polishing your own nails and toes at home. That's part of self-care. 
Give yourself a, a massage. Take a bubble bath. Go sit outside. Drink a glass of wine. Hygiene, of course. Everybody use different products. But it's so important to really get into self-care products, especially like, you know, soaps and body washes, even like your shampoo and conditioner for your hair. It's very important. Like, that's where I feel like you should splurge on. Like, it should be no limit on self-care products because those products are making you feel good, smell good. You know what I'm saying? Like that is so important. So definitely just keep yourself up all together. As women, of course, it takes a lot for us to really like, you know, be head to toe. We are very expensive. We like to shop. We like to do all kinds of things. But just remember to really put your money where you can tell from when you step outside they know that you don't play about yourself next is all about speaking speaking as in speaking positivity into yourself into others just like and and really speaking boldly clearly i had to learn to speak more slowly because i was known to like I speak very fast and I used to have like the squeakiest voice ever. I know my voice is still like, you know, girly or whatever, but I've learned to slow it down. Even with walking, like when you walk, gracefully walk, gracefully talk, just speak it. If you know you want something, speak it into existence. Ask God for it. When you pray and you asking him for something, after you said that prayer, you should be already feeling like you got what you prayed for. Don't curse. I know sometimes we could slip up. That's you, you're human. That's normal. But it's so graceful when you can just speak and don't have to curse. Even when you're getting your point across. If you in an argument a disagreement you don't have to curse to get your point across we are women we supposed to be in our soft girl era every day it shouldn't be just a, a point of no you should be in your soft girl era your soft girl -ness all the time be on your pedestal we are all queens that's why i call myself queen kiosha of course i'm not perfect nobody is perfect but it's all about your journey of where you were and where you are now that's what a grown woman is that's what maturity is you are not who you used to be it's who you've become lastly is going to be working out baby you gotta keep your body moving i told one of my friends the other day she was telling me you know how she gained weight and i told her i've gained weight too but she was like, Kiosha, you're tall. So it don't really show on you as it would on a, a shorter person. And that is true. But I told her, girl, the main thing to do is walk. I've been walking so much. And not only does it help you slim down, but it's great for your mentalness. Get outside, take a walk. You get back inside from taking that walk you feel so much more refreshed and revised and just like you know you ready to really enjoy your day you have energy you're not lazy you're not still in bed you're not tired you're not wore out eating more fruits drinking smoothies drinking waters drinking apple juice cranberry juice all that but working out does not necessarily mean you have to go to the gym work out at home they have so many at home workouts on youtube on this platform that you can look up find one that you like and do it do it like three four times a week they have some workouts that i do personally that's like five to ten minute workouts you can do that every day you feel what i'm saying we sit on our phone for five ten minutes just scrolling we could be using that time to work out 
I've also been jump roping lately. That is really good, especially, oh my God, I feel it in my calves when I jump rope. My calves and like my abs, I feel it. But walking, you cannot go wrong with walking. Walking on the park, walking in your neighborhood. And you don't always have to have somebody with you to work out. I like to work out by myself or with my boyfriend. Even when I work out with him, like he can do his own thing, I do my own thing. But you really don't need nobody with you to accomplish nothing. You know, get into doing things alone. Go and eat out alone. Go and get your nails done alone. Go and shopping alone. It's okay to be alone. You don't always have to have somebody. Majority of the time, we ask somebody to come with us. It's always an excuse. Or they can't make it. You know what I'm saying? So go alone. Keep your body moving. We getting older. You know, our bodies are going to age. We are not going to be able to move like how we used to move back in the day. So you got to stay healthy. You have to keep moving. You have to take care of yourself. You have to, you know, get into, look, I can go out and have fun, but I don't have to drink. I don't have to smoke. You can really get easily influenced by your peers they could be drinking but you can be like y'all i'm not drinking today you know what i'm saying take care of yourself you came into this world by yourself you're going to leave by yourself so take care of yourself live your life be happy do what's best for you take care of yourself head to toe when you walk in the room they got to know that God sent you there. And that concludes my video of today. I'll see y'all on my next video. I hope you guys love this video. If you made it to the end, if you're not already, subscribe, like, comment, turn on my post notifications. I will be uploading my next video sometime this weekend. Stay tuned for that one. And that is a wrap for my video on today. Bye, y'all.